Yeah, they do have uh, young players and very talented young players, but they also have a, a number of experienced players, whether it be in Europe or in the NBA. And uh, I think that uh, they're not going to suffer, I, I believe, from, from a lack of experience. Uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, I think any team that comes as a unit for the first time into the Final Four, when you don't have a lot of players that have played together and been in multiple Final Fours, that's more the issue than the players' experience. It's more the team experience in that environment. Madrid has not been in a Final Four in, in quite some time, if I'm not mistaken. And from our standpoint, this particular group as a unit is very new. And we also have not played uh, as a group in, in a Final Four. So both teams are going to experience some difficulty from the experience standpoint. You know, the game of basketball is made up of so many different uh, facets. You really can't pinpoint uh, one. If, if, if the team has one particular strong point, they're probably not going to be at this level. You know, there's, there's too many... Uh, characteristics uh, in the Real Madrid team that that have they've proven their worth at that uh, uh, doesn't allow you just to focus on one thing but you know certainly rebounding is one of their strong points and and I would say that in a game of this nature rebounding in general is extremely important so you know that that is a concern and that is a point of emphasis. Well, you would hope that uh, at the end of the day, you score more points than the other guy, regardless of uh, what the statistics say. Uh, I know this, that generally, uh, and in particular, the first game of the Final Four is more of a nervous game. Uh, so there seems to be more pressure in that game. Uh, this is a new arena for everyone in this Final Four. Uh, it's hard to determine or hard to predict what the shooting percentages are going to be. Uh, many of the gray area parts of the game will probably be critical uh, areas that are uh, defined by possession, you know, loose balls, long rebounds, uh, deflections, contests, uh, things of that nature. Uh, you know, I, I know this year we have had the ability to outscore people and to stop people, and that's what good teams uh, have. Our identity, as you mentioned earlier, was, was truly more of a pressure defense team than it was as an offensive team, but at the end of the season we led the EuroLeague offensive categories in almost every single uh, one, and, and, and me it surprises because I really thought we did most of our good work from the defensive end. Uh, again, without Doron that's changed a little bit, and we uh, have modified our, modified our play to a certain extent. Real unquestionably has a, a great defensive team. Uh, they're physical, they close the paint, they Try not to allow you too, too many shots. You know, they have a system that, that works and, and, and they execute it well. So uh, it'll be a challenge at both ends of the court, I, I hope, for both teams. Uh, you know, that's hard to say because I'm not inside their program and I don't really know what their expectation uh, level is. I do know in the summer their expectations were to be here. They built uh, uh, an extremely strong roster, very, very deep, very, very uh, high quality players. They made uh, great investments in bringing guys from other places or in finding new players and, and signing them for the, for the good of their program. Uh, and I believe in the summertime they truly expected or, or, or certainly had the ambition be in the Final Four, and, and their roster speaks to that fact. Uh, we in the summer were a brand new team with a lot of relatively uh, unknown players or unproven players, and uh, we grew as the season went along. Uh, we did start out of the blocks very quickly, but people expected us to sort of falter. We never did. You know, we stayed, stayed at a pretty good level most of the year. And I think we're, we're arriving at the Final Four, perhaps with not necessarily the pressure of, okay, this is a team that was supposed to be here and has the undoubt, undoubted uh, ability to win it. You know, we're still in that phase of, you know, we could do it, and we couldn't do it. 
but uh, or we may not be able to do it. But you know, I, I know that our players' ambitions and our their hearts are in the right place, and and they recognize that that we're a good enough team to play with anybody and and, and to beat anybody. And then it becomes a matter of coming here and and, and, and having your peak performance at the right time, uh, and then maybe doing something really special.